Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io, and today we're learning how to set up Ant Design in Create React App. So you probably have seen React Bootstrap, Material Design, and a few others out there, but Ant Design, in my opinion, is the best component uh, UI library for React, uh, hands down. I mean, you can see how many stars it has. It's backed by Alibaba, a Chinese company. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, AliExpress. Um, Lots of people made lots of money selling stuff on eBay, importing stuff from China to the States. Um, but their design uh, team essentially put this together. So it's it tons of stars, but it's primarily, I guess, Chinese backed or uh, not, not, not a lot in the uh, Western uh, hemisphere using this. But uh, I think it's a great package, really, really strong components, great library. Um, it has almost everything you need. Uh, the styling could be a little better, but uh, I'll show you how you can kind of tweak some of those some of those styles. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. First, we'll need a Create React app. So if you don't already have, you need npm installed, which requires Node. So go to nodejs.org uh, if you don't already have it. Um, then you can type npm install dash g yarn. Um, that's what I'm going to be using to install this, but you could use the npm commands if you wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to copy this command right here to get started. Go to my terminal, and I'm going to call this setup uh, ant d. You can name this uh, whatever you want for your project. So we're just going to say yarn create react app, then setup ant d because that's how it says to create the project. So we'll give that just a second to run. But yeah, Ant Design's great. Um, use it. Uh, the last two companies I worked at, um, really robust, really robust UI library. Really enjoy it. So let's go ahead, install, install, install. And while it's installing, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Uh, it helps the YouTube algorithms help other people find these videos. So if you find it useful, please like and subscribe um, as it'll help other people. So we're already done. Let's go ahead and CD into our project. Perfect. I'm going to clear this. Um, and I'm going to type, actually, let's install a couple things first. So now that's installed. If we go back over to ant.design. And by the way, this website here was github.com face slash Facebook slash create react app, but you can just Google it if you're not sure where to go. So this website is ant.design. So click the get started button and you'll see they have a section use and create react app. So we've already followed that part, created our project, seeded into it. Uh, I'm not going to start it just yet because there's a couple things I want to do. So they're just showing you the default directory structure that you have. Um, so we need to add ant D. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in. Let that install. Um, so now here's one part. So they kind of give you baby steps and then undo the baby steps. So you want to skip this part right here. Don't worry about this because what's going to happen is you're going to import button from um, the library, which it's kind of a pain to do that way. You want kind of named exports instead of default exports. Um, and then you're they have you importing the style sheet in into your app uh, dot CSS. But we're going to go down to advanced guides because we are advanced. Um, and so what we're going to do is because way create react app is set up, it's basically a package system for you. Um, and what you can do is eject, which then will take you out of the project um, or basically expose the um, uh, webpack configuration for you, but then it's really hard to upgrade. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep everything, um, still, um, together, non ejected. So we use this react app rewired customized CRA libraries, which I'm just going to paste those there and install. So we're going to use those to allow us to override some of the, uh, default configurations. And so in order to do that, we need to uh, change a couple things in our package.json. So those are done. So I'm going to type code dot. You can open up Visual Studio Code or your favorite editor at this point. This will launch it for me here. Close that. 
hide from sidebar. And we go to package.json. Make this a little bigger for you guys. Be a hair too big. There we go. Um, perfect. So if we look back over, oops. There we go. So we just need create react or react app rewired. So you see where it says react scripts, we're just gonna replace that in these few places. So I'm just gonna highlight and hit command D on the Mac and paste. There we go. So now that'll help us um, kind of circumvent our uh, Webpack configuration, kind of run it through our custom config here. So we need to create a file called config overrides.js in the root directory. So I'm just gonna go up here config overrides oops dot js and you can see they're gonna have you add some stuff we're gonna do that just yet um, because they're gonna show you to do this then they're gonna go down here and change it up on you so we're not gonna mess with that just yet so while we're at it let's do another yarn add babel plugin import so I'll paste that here that install. Um, you can read about how it all works. Um, but essentially, they're going to give you some stuff to install here. Not that important. Now you can see that some of the steps are telling you to remove the previous steps you did. So I'm going to save you a bunch of time here by kind of jumping down below. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. You actually want this. So what this allows us to do is ant design uses less. So you probably heard of SAS. Um, Less and SAS are um, pre, uh, pre compile CSS, pre processed, um, or post process, pre process CSS. Um, so it allows you to do cool things like add variables and features that aren't normally available in CSS. You can add them in there. Um, so it uses less. So we need to override some of the less stuff. So I'm going to paste that in there. Yarn add less and less loader. So that'll be the Babel loader, which allows us to um, override some of those variables. So I think that's about it. So now we just need this in our config here. So I'm gonna copy this, this line here with the plus sign. That's the one we want. And in our config dash overrides.js, which is in our root directory, we'll paste that in. And I'm just gonna grab all this right here and with the minuses, we need to delete. And anything that has a plus, I'm just going to highlight it and hit Command-D a couple times. Save that. Perfect. Okay. So what's happening here is it's changing up the imports for us. Um, it's going to maintain styles. And then it's going to allow us to override variables like primary color. So if you were to go into the Ant Design website, um, how do you get there? I think you go through customized theme documentation, default variables, and boom. And then it would show you all the different variable names that you could overwrite. So you see primary color. That was one that was kind of given to us right there. So we're able to override that. So we set it to like a green color. Normally the default color is like a blue in uh, Ant Design. So now we have it to a green. Um, let's go back over to our create React app, or excuse me, Ant Design. And we're there without ejecting. So you could eject and then this would be a little bit easier, but we decided not to eject. So it makes upgrading easier in the future. Um, so we take their example of button. So that's a simple one. We can go over to our source, app.js. We can delete this logo for now. I'll import button. And then let's just do this here. Save that. Come back over to here. Type yarn start, or you can type npm start. Either or will work. Let's go to localhost 3000. And you can see we have our button there. That looks pretty good. Um, we could change the text here. Test button, save that, and it'll auto reload. 
So it's a pretty good looking button. It's got some click effects, kind of a material design-esque uh, feature. But the real power is the component library in React App. So you can see they have tons of stuff. They have an icon uh, library. Uh, they have their own grid system, um, which I, I'm gonna take care of uh, and show in some future videos. You can grab some quick layouts, which I'll just grab one right now. Uh, let's see, which one do we like? Let's grab this one. So here's all the things I need to import from Ant. And let's just move this up above, actually right there. Cause you want uh, kind of your React imports, libraries, then any relative imports, and then you want to start declaring constants in your project. Um, then we just need to grab the code for this guy. without the comma and then come back here, paste that in, save it. And now if we go over to our project, we can see we have a really basic uh, website layout and you can see our uh, main primary color here has been set to green. So that's pretty cool for, you know, not a lot of work there. We have some drop down menus and here we could actually start loading in content if we used uh, react router Dom or anything like that. So that's it for now. Uh, that's how you install and set up Ant Design with Create React App. Uh, if you get a chance, please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment below. Let me know any feedback. If I missed anything, it uh, really helps other people. But the like and subscribe helps uh, others find these YouTube videos and helps them learn. So appreciate the support, guys, and look forward to next time. Take care.